Now, there are many features of Marxist thought that put people off. But much, much of the stuff that gets brought up is actually pretty recognizable. And not just recognizable, it's actually stuff that he borrows from the liberal tradition. So his theory of history, for example, or his theory of dialectical materialism. I mean, the theory that we can pull out of you know, um, the manifesto, for example, or a number of other sources in which he discusses dialectical, his dialectical approach to history, it isn't all that different from the views of history that we find in, say, Hume, but especially the views of history that we find in book three of Smith's Wealth of Nations, right? There's, I mean, a materialist or evolutionary approach to the development of institutions, right? And the interaction between commercial activity and the development of political institutions in the West is by the time Marx is writing in the 19th century, pretty well-trod ground, not just well-trod ground, well-trod by liberals, by those that we place in the liberal tradition. His ideas about, you know, um, the deleterious effects of the division of labor on the working class. These aren't alien to the tradition either. Usually when I do, you know, an IHS talk on Marx, I'll bring up one of these long quotations from book five of the Wealth of Nations where Smith is, um, you know, bemoaning the fate of the working classes, right? The effect of the division of labor on the average person. If we think about the pin factory from Smith, right? Before we might've been the pin guy in town, we might have, you know, a, uh, in being the pin maker, we, so we did the deliveries, we were part of the community, we kept the books, so we kept our minds sharp. Um, you know, we, we bought and sold the materials, so we were sort of engaged in market interactions. In other words, making pins, being a pin maker was, um, you might say, a more comprehensive endeavor than what it is by the end of Smith's example. By the end, we're just the guy that pulls the string or just the guy that taps on the head or just the guy that does delivery and we're, you know, we're doing this kind of machine-like task. So the idea that the division of labor, that capitalism understood as increased and increasingly sophisticated specialization uh, in the labor market, the idea that this would have a negative effect on the individuals who participated in it, that isn't original to Marx. Um, he pulls that directly out of Smith. Now Smith's answer, of course, is education. Marx's answer is altogether different. Um, so again, the, the things that usually get cited, the historical stuff, the stuff on the working class, I mean, all of this stuff is perfectly at home within the liberal tradition. 